It doesn't matter if you're five or 95. A car person is a car person is a car person. And I think that's the, the neat part about it. And that's why I like the business, the industry, the feel of what we do. I, I just think there, there's nothing else like it. I'm Tommy Pike. Um, we're here at Tommy Pike Customs in Greenville, South Carolina. We are a automotive lifestyles business. We do everything from full restorations to pretty much anything that our customers need or desire. I started right out of high school working at my parents' garage and uh, got a little job at a local car stereo window tent shop and here we are. You know, 20 years later, I bought that business and turned it into now Tommy Pike Customs. I met my wife uh, at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. When I was still working at the Speedway, he and I worked together on a car build that was really driven by him. He wanted to do something for charity. And that's where I really started to see kind of that personal side of him. And I knew that every project that he worked on or laid hands on, he had a personal relationship with who was receiving those keys at the end of the job. It's pretty neat to be able to experience these things and, and see how it impacts people. Ultimately, he wanted another toy. As much as he has customer projects going on, he is a car guy. He's not just a, a guy to work on other people's cars. He himself is an enthusiast. So for him, you know, this definitely was another toy. He had started this restoration. The relationship started to brew with Quaker State, and it really just perfectly married. We were looking for something that would be different old school. It would be a showpiece, but almost an interactive showpiece. The wheels started turning and six months later, here we are with this incredible, awesome 69 F100. The truck from the outside looks like your grandfather's truck or your dad's truck, but when you open the hood or when you hear it start or when you, you know, sit inside it and look at that interior, you realize this is so not my grandfather's truck. Growing up, my father was an aircraft mechanic. He was always tinkering and doing little things on, on his uh, vehicles around the house. And uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't guess I really thought about it. I just ended up doing it. I, you know, with my toys and bicycles and wagons and kind of tear everything apart. And was 50% of the time successful in putting it back together so it would still work. So I kind of enjoyed that. I enjoy being able to take something that is not right and, and you get these old cars that are just rusty beat up buckets of bolts and six months, a year, two years later, you've got a product like this. And I think that is what drives me to, to continue to want to be better and do better work and, and do things differently than everybody else.